hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel phone to our duty has decided not to make her husband a god anymore all she wants to do now is focus on herself and be herself in the midst of all of this adekas and messi Aigbe have been going about their own various lives as well attending events together sharing loved up photos on social media to mention but a few this is not sitting well with those in the camp of funsho adeoti funsho adeoti who had gone ahead to share a video where Nicki minaj was heard speaking about herself when she was in a relationship at some point in her life standing by those words shared by Nicki minaj funsho adeoti has decided to be herself be authentic and be her own favorite woman here was what Nicki minaj was heard saying in the video it says and i quote I was so broken as a human being and I didn't know who I was anymore. I think that sometimes when we are in relationships, we make that person God and that person is not God. Okay? You have to learn that you will be just fine without the person and when you have that confidence and that strength, that security, you bring so much more to the table. You know? And whenever a person wants you to be clingy or secure, something ain't right. That means that person wants you at your lowest self. You know that way to manipulate you. So that's the way, you know. Just to keep you where you at, end quote. This was what Nicki Minaj was heard saying in the short clip shared by Ashwaji Kuchers. She had a caption saying, be you be real be authentic be your favorite kind of woman over the days she has been posting several pictures of herself as well and most of her background song has been one and ten nobody get time for competition the title of the song is edified lona which was sung by tony adewale's son mayor and that has been an anthem since she has been encouraging herself and saying all she wants to do is just be her and focus on herself well here are some of the things people had to say in the camp of Funsho Adeoti. A user said, as Ashiwaju, your best days are only starting. God will surprise you over and over again. Another user said, deep and so apt. Another user said, absolutely right. Another user said, unapologetically, no boundaries. Another user said, self-love all the way. Another user said, you are right, my sister. Anyone who manipulates you is not for you. This and several reactions were filled in the comment section of your Adeoti. Ever since the news of Mercy and Adeka surfaced online, things have never been the same with Funsho Adeoti and Adekas. Mercy, on the other hand, is not keeping anything cool. She is singing the song of Aya the Owner to whoever cares to listen. Just recently, a few months back, Mercy Aigbe got into trouble for singing the praises of Aya the Owner and claiming to be Aya the Owner. Mercy Aigbe got into a fight with larry lara a one-time actress and ceo of larry shoe it seems larry got irritated with the way Messi Aigbe was claiming to be the owner. She could live with the fact that Messi Aigbe was the new wife of Adikas, but what she couldn't live with and got irritated with was the fact that Messi is rubbing it on everyone's face that nobody, absolutely nobody, can take her place as she is the Ayadi owner. Larita also explained in one of the posts she shared that Messi Aigbe had gone ahead to pay the DJ, the hype man, to insult anybody and use the word Iyalaya. The highlight of the event was when Messi called on Larry asking her if Larry mentioned her name and Larry responded aggressively by throwing her a bottle. This didn't end well. In the camp of Messi, a lot of people went for Larry saying what if bottled and met her somewhere and claimed her life or put her in a terrible state. Definitely the story would have changed. Well, this was what Messi Aigbe had to say concerning the matter and her own side of the story. She said in her words, in reference to the video online, my side of the story part one. Hi, I've been bullied online several times by Larry Lara. She calls me unprintable names unprovoked. Yesterday, she took it a step further by physically assaulting me. I was at the front store opening, Remy Gold, to celebrate with her. Larry Lara was one of the guests. This woman, for no reason best known to her, slanders me online at every opportunity she gets. She has done many live videos and posts to this effect. I tried to reach out to her to understand what the issues were, but she chose to ignore me. Lara and I 
our acquaintances. I have patronized her business and she also have done likewise. So I was surprised and confused how she suddenly became an enemy. I sent messages to her on WhatsApp. I called a few people close to her to understand why she would decide to be an antagonist. All efforts proved abortive. At the party yesterday, she started with the same energy, throwing words at me, calling me names and being disrespectful. Initially, I kept calm, didn't respond to her. People around her appealed to her to stop, yet Lara wouldn't stop. And so I decided to stand up for myself and I retaliated with the same energy. It became heated and everyone around tried to break her peace. She still wouldn't stop. At some point, she tried to throw a bottle at me. But it hit the lady sitting in front of her and there was pandemonium. I stepped out to leave in the middle of the brouhaha. But my friends pleaded with me to stay, including the celebrant. I went back in and she started attacking me verbally again. Eventually, she was taken out of the party and she left. She went overboard with her hate yesterday. The bottle could have harmed someone and it would become a criminal case. This was an unnecessary attack. However, I would like to apologize to my fans and family who felt I should have handled the whole situation differently. I am sorry. Moving forward, I am a peace-loving person. I would really like to put this whole episode behind me. Thank you to everyone who reached out to me. I am very fine. The bottle did not touch me at all as I was far from her. Sadly, it touched someone else, but I was told she wasn't injured and she is also fine. Thank you once again. Y'all made me feel so loved. This was Mercy Aigbe explaining her own side of the story. Well, a lot of people were happy about the incident. At the same time, people didn't like the whole idea. What was what people had to say? Well, most people blamed Mercy Aigbe and that Mercy Aigbe should just have kept her cool. She's not the first person to be the second wife. Why is she making a fuss about it? There are several other actresses in the Nollywood industry who are also second wives to their husband and not in any way intimidating the first wife. Here was what people had to say. I like the fact that you are open and not hiding the truth like other celeb who are afraid to say the truth to her. You have always come out with your full chest. Yes, we all know the deed has been done, but she should at least not try to make the first wife feel more pain by trying to pepe or disrespect her. If you're a woman here, you will know how it hurts seeing a man with another woman. Another user said, we all see the way she was running her mouth before the whole saga. Pain DJ, despite your fellow woman, as if that is not enough. She was bold enough to call her name. I can see she has received sense now when they put her to where she belongs. Well, we hope that phone show at DOT finds solace and accept faith as Messi becomes the second wife and move on to greater things. Well, guys, there you have it. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.